If you are lucky enough, you might have one awesome Fox body, right? 347 turbo something. Well, guess what? Today, guys, this guy owns two. We're looking at another 347 convertible owned by Dom. We're going to bring him in here, talk about it right here on the channel today. Hello, welcome to Gearhead 704. I'm Matt, and guys, I'm still at Foxtoberfest 2022 doing some car reviews. We're actually at the kickoff party. You see Fox bodies everywhere. But today, I have somebody who's been on the channel before, and actually, I only think this happened maybe a couple times. I don't know. You let me know down in the comments below if this has happened more than once. I think having the same owner on with a second car has only happened one other time. That was Harris Lou. But anyway, through the power of YouTube editing, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the owner, Dom, right now. Hey, Dom, welcome back to the channel. Back to the channel. I don't get to say that very much. Welcome we're back, back, man. Back with another car. <laughs> another car, different car. That's why we're doing this. Yeah. Yep. What have you been up to, man? Oh, doing this for the last two years. Yeah, in the uh, midst of your other one. Your other one took 18 months. One. And let's talk about the other ones. 347, a beautiful car. Yeah. And were you working on them at the same time, I guess, a little bit? Kind of. Kind of. It was hard to go back and forth. So yeah. I figured I'd just leave the other car alone, the okay. gray hatch and then just focus in on this one. All right, so really it's been this one the so last- it's been this one for the last two years. Okay, and so we're looking at a, a red convertible. What year is it actually? So it's a 91, the true GT. It was this our original GT? The original GT. We added the stalker bumper, the Storm and Norman hood. Yeah, those look good. You still got the GT grind effects. By the way, I mean, these match pretty well. So did you have it repainted or something? It actually has the original paint. The hood, bumper, the wing, and the bumper were all painted back in 2001. But other than that- Oh, you got a Cobra bumper now. You got the Cobra bumper. Yeah, which looks yeah. a lot better. Paint. Celine wing. Yeah. Now, did you put all that on? When you got it, like, what kind of state was it? Pretty stock or? So when I got the car, it was there. The nose was off the car. So it just had a block and I had to redo the whole engine bay and to rewire the car, put the Holly system in the car. But I mean, I got maybe six or seven totes of just all parts on the car. Oh, I bet. So I had to go through everything. The guy Mark that I got it from me did a really good job with, you know, getting me all I, I love this touch here. Yeah, I got I love mixed the reviews about it, but it really? looks good, man. Okay, I wish that, let me know what you guys think down in the comments, because you always do, they always do, Dom. Yeah, always. But I kind of wish I did this with Tar Heel Fox. I wish I went blue. Yeah, here. I, I think it looks good, but you know, this is original paint, or, or I guess it's not original paint, it's from 2000, right? Yes. He must have done that at that time, because you didn't yes. do that. I didn't do that. It's so how nice. do you feel about it? What are you going to do in the future on that? I'm going to leave it for now. Yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Why not touch it? Yeah. If it looks good, just, I'll just leave it. I, I kind of agree yeah. with you. Yeah, you've done a ton of work, two years. Uh, why convertible though? You already have an awesome hatchback. Some people only get one awesome Fox body. Why do well, you got two, man? When I was in high school, I had a 97 Cobra convertible, and I just, I just love convertibles. With the, the top down here in the exhaust, shifting gears, I'm like, I gotta build a convertible. You know, so, I can't like, I can't I agree with you at all, right? That's, that's the best. Feeling. Actually, no, I can. Burt game. Yeah, Burt game. Burt game <laughs> Buy a convertible, guys. You, got the bo you can, you know, you get both worlds, yeah. man. So. But you also have a hatch. So. <laughs> yeah, I have the hatch too. So, so, all right. Well, you know, what? I forgot. Before we get into more details, oh, yeah. I need to give him a little walk around the car. So, guys, let me go ahead and do a little cinematic, do my little music thing, and we'll be right back. So there you go guys, that's a look at the car. Absolutely stunning and I just realized this. I was like, oh man, these wheels are awesome, what are they? And I'd seen them before and I forgot. So they've seen them before, the viewers have seen them before the channel. Where'd they come from? Where'd they, where'd they... they came from the Chocolate Fox. That's right guys, year. look. Oh, okay, it had Chocolate Fox in the middle. You did the, change yeah, that. Okay, so. that's what threw me off. We're gonna save those for Chocolate Fox. Okay, oh year. yeah, because it's I'll gonna be a Chocolate Fox? Yeah. You're gonna have them both at Chocolate Fox? I'm gonna try to have both. Oh man, that'll that's, be awesome. That's the goal. That'll be awesome. I love the wheels. 
And you see, so you must have that day you didn't have wheels for this car yet. No, hey. <laughs> I was. I I had a, a what is that 94 95 Cobra wheels. Okay. And I was like, I need something a little. These different. are so unique. So I I came in. I, it was great. It was yeah. Great. For anybody that doesn't know, these wheels were donated by Blue Sky Performance and Tom, the War Admiral for Chocolate Fox, to raise money for Big Brothers Big Sisters. And so they were they were raffled off, and the guy who won them. He sold them to you. He sold them to me. That's pretty cool. I drove uh, six hours to get them, but yeah. Okay, it's worth it, right? It was worth it, absolutely. Yeah. Obviously, she's been lowered. Tell us a little about the suspension brakes, and then we'll get under the hood. Cobra brakes. 0304 Cobra, right? Oh, yeah. You know, it's got the bare drilled and slotted rotors. It's got QA1 uh, coilovers so all cool around. Levers. Okay. What are the wheel sizes? Do you remember in the front? Uh, 18? 18 by 9. 18 by 9? Yeah. Okay. And these are 18 by 9 as now well. this is... Look at this now, Dom. This is a... This is it's a, a tuck, dude. A, that's, it's a little tight. That's perfect. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It fits perfect, man. And how wide are we in the back? These are 18 by 9s as well. Okay. It's got all custom offsets. A bare rear brakes, disc brakes with yep. the bare uh, drilled and slotted rotors. You did the five look swap. Did the five look swap. It's got uh, 31 spine axles, 355 True Track locker in it, an anti roll bar from uh, UPR, front lower adjustable co uh, control arms. Yeah. So it's got it's, a lot of goodies. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. I, I love it. Why did why the Celine wing and Cobra bumper? You put that. You picked those out, right? Yeah. It's just the look. I just love the look. Yeah. Like I want to keep it how the car was and then yeah and then you know in the late 90s like this was the dude thing, man. could you imagine yeah like rolling down uh, where you were yeah, cruising i with, feel like it this? like goes with the, the body line it of the does car with the top and stuff so i know i know a lot of people don't like them but what i do i'm a fan actually yeah. i just had to go with a cobra theme on mine but otherwise i was gonna go with this it looks really good there's a lot of meat back here too what size tires you got i forgot to ask those are 275 40s okay back, so it's not too wide but it but actually it's, looks it's, like because it's so tough right yeah. Right. And it's got a nice deep dish to it. Too. Oh, dude, yeah. those wheels are you. Yeah. I'm kind of jealous. I should have bought those wheels. <laughs> yeah. Tom kept telling me buy the wheels. I know, I know. Now, interior wise, was it like this or I don't think so? You probably no, did this. I redid everything. I mean, it's got an original black interior. Okay. But I put the Recaro seats. Those are all custom seats. I did the upholstery in the back, Corbo upholstery. I mean, These every... seats are oh, I love wonderful. Them, man. You put the roll, roll bar in. That was a custom cage that was built out in California back in like 2001, 2002. Oh, really? So that was in the car when you got it? Yes. Because it's a California car, right? Uh, yes. True California, California car. car. And yeah. you are what owner? I'm the second owner. Second owner. So how long have you actually owned the car? I know it took two years to build. Three and a half years now. Okay. So yeah. when you first had it, you were having to finish up on this your hatchback. This was a true COVID build. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. He got a little bored and COVID and had to... Uh... Yeah. <laughs> True COVID. Well, yeah, the COVID did that to all of us. The only problem with me is I also bought mine during COVID. I'm still building it three years later, but we won't talk about <laughs> that here. About that. Yeah, you put yeah. the steering wheel in. Is this, uh, oh, is this carbon fiber? No, it's not carbon fiber. What is this? It's a Momo steering wheel, but it just has like the little carbon fiber touch. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. Like I thought it at first. Yeah. yeah, guys, got you a little closer. So, carbon fiber dash carbon pad. Carbon fiber dash pad. And then I've never seen anybody do it before, but I wound up making a frame and putting the Holly digital gauge right into there. I haven't seen that either. That looks really good. Yeah, so I did the 417 Fox. Oh yeah, shout out to him, guys. Shout out. He still does a little YouTube. Shout out to Michael, 417. <laughs> so that looks great in here. Got the relocation on these. Relocation. And so you've still got your regular. So I saw somebody do this recently. Regular gauges? Yeah, I didn't want to change it up. I, no. you know, I wanted to keep it like original. You know, I, I wish I would have done that now, honestly. Yeah. I went to Dakota, but I, I kind of wish. Uh, I didn't want to ruin it. Out. I yeah. still like that Fox body feel. So yeah. That's why I kept it. And that's why I kind of went with this just to change it up a little bit. Yeah. But I didn't want to go too aggressive with it all. No, it looks good. Yeah, I love it. Now, you probably recarpeted too, right? And that's original carpet. Get out, that's really? That's original carpet. Guys, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pull this yeah. up. I mean, it is clean. So it was black interior. Yeah. Looks like you got some stereo stuff yeah, in here. Yeah, a little stereo system in it. Nothing too crazy. Yeah. But it's, it's yeah. definitely, I love it. It's the fun car. Yeah, you're, sure. you're happy, right? Well, just, yeah. let's, uh, let, maybe we should show them the goodies. Should pop the yeah, hood for them. Let's pop the hood for you guys. <laughs> I know one thing I didn't spoil. Boom, there it is. Not just the 347 this time. Not just the 347. And Oz, a little more. right away, Dom, I noticed the engine bay again. You had a ridiculous engine bay in your hatchback and you got it here again. You know what I you're do doing, again. man. Yeah. Dude, you're making me really like, yeah. I feel a little, <laughs> we're it's not popping my hood. It's we're a not lot doing of work, it. but yeah. I, Gosh, it's beautiful. I mean, not really good. Really guys, good. just take a minute to just a look at this hours. engine bay. You it's, relocated the battery in the trunk, relocated right? Relocated the battery, yep. These are bling now. I think you did your other ones like this yes, too, right? Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah. 
And, and it caught me again because I almost forgot yeah, for a second like, that you did yeah. it. Yeah. Same exact thing. Looks so good on the, uh, the caster camber plates. Yep. Let's walk through the engine first before we talk yep. about this thing that was not on your other one. Yeah, no. <laughs> so it's a 347 with the uh, old school A4 block. How's that different? I'm not familiar with that. So It's like more in like the uh, what, late 90s, early 2000s. Okay. It was like a race block back oh, in the day. Oh, like yeah. SVO. Yeah. I do remember hearing about that. So yep. it's got um, custom J and E pistons, H beam rods, custom crank, custom cam. Victor Jr. heads, 88 <laughs> pound injectors. Uh, we know why you need those. R, yeah, and then we got that baby, the the good old T-trim. Absolutely beautiful. What are you running on exhaust? Looks like long tubes. So yeah, these are Mac long tube headers. And it's uh, stupid loud, by the way, guys. He's gonna be in exhaust competition. I think he got a shot. I will see. Yeah, I mean, that'll be awesome. Full Mac exhaust. It's even got the old school pro chamber, and I put the race bullets on. Man, the pro chambers you don't see those anymore, right? It's not an H pipe. It's not an X pipe. It's a pro chamber. It's a pro chamber. Yeah. I mean, so, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, check your check magazines from the 90s, early 2000s. That's it, man. You had a pro chamber. That's what I tried. Oh, man. Do. Yeah. And then the, the brake. So you upgraded to, uh, is that a 93 Cobra Booster? That's a 93 Cobra Booster, Master. It's just got so much. So much to it, man. I did some custom bracket work, you know, to make the belt work and everything like that. Almost looks like he could eat off of it. Yeah. Is this kind of the unveiling? Is this the first show you've This is had? the first show that this car Yeah. Had. I mean, that was kind of my goal. It was two years in the making. Yeah. But I wanted to make sure I was at Fox to open this year. That's awesome. And you won actually, you won an award at uh, Chocolate Fox. Yes, I did. What'd yep. you win? I forget. Uh, best, best modified? modified. Yeah. yeah. Yep. With, my, with the gray hatch. Yep. Man, I'm loving these aero cars. Like, guys, a convertible. You know, let's just trade Dom. No, I can't trade no, my Targo Fox. <laughs> we, you know, we can trade for one day. Wait, you know, one day. One day. Yeah. Yeah. Then you'll want back in this thing fast because <laughs> mine's slow. Oh, right. Yeah. yeah, so tell me a little bit more about, about the fuel system because I know you got 88 pound injectors, but you gotta it's upgrade got to upgrade some um, stuff, right? Upgraded the fuel rails. Those are behind bars, fuel rails. I behind got, bars? I never heard that name. That's cool. Yeah, man. behind bars, custom fuel tank with a uh, Weldon 1000A built inside the fuel tank. In the fuel pump? Yeah. I wonder if I can look at the fuel tank real quick. Probably looks pretty yeah, good. It's fully Do you have a custom cover or something on it? Or? No, it's, it's all black powder coated. There you go, guys. A little hard to see, but yeah, it looks nice under here. I can't see the pro chamber up there. <laughs> no way they can see it. I can see it from here. It looks good. It looks good. It looks good. <laughs> She said it's three inch. Yeah, it's a full three. Full inch, three inch full exhaust. Three inch exhaust. Yeah. Okay. Well, you need all that fuel system. How much boost do you run or PSI on uh, the bore check? Uh, I'm gonna try and shoot for maybe 18, 18 to 20. Okay. On the teacher. What's it on right now? Honestly, I haven't even had it on the dyno yet. It's okay. got maybe 100 miles on the build. Oh wow. So I haven't even broke the clutch in or nothing. No, you're just getting going. Yeah, you have any guesses? I would guess. I Probably like, 500, I like, 600? I would like to see like 650 to the wheels. Okay, okay. So if that's, that's, that's a good goal right there. So okay. I'll be happy with that. So guys, not even tuned yet. It's that fresh unveiling, only 100 miles. Shout out to my boy, Jeff Miller. That's his tuned right there out in Staten Island. There you go. So, All right, well, he got you to, to, to around here and you can have it dyno tuned the whole way. Yeah, over. yeah. Cloud twin disc. RXD clutch. It's got a Liberty Bill TKO 600 upgraded okay. shift rails and all that. Trans. Yep. That should uh, hold it. That's oh, yeah, old school too, actually. TK 600, TKO 600, old school. TKO 600, yeah. So I had that fully built from Liberty Gears. It's got a Stifler's uh, dry shaft loop and uh, cross member. Safety loop. Yeah, and safety okay. loop, yeah. So, yeah, I love Stifler's. They yeah. actually, uh, they, they're supporting one of my builds, Nemesis. Yeah. It, so, you know, maybe it'll be here next year. <laughs> it will. <laughs> but, but yeah, I mean, it's it's got a lot of goodies in it. It has a lot of goodies. It had a good, what's your what's your favorite part other than probably finishing it, I'm sure? Honestly, my favorite part, I love the stance. Yeah. Between the wheels and the stance. Especially just, in the back, man. Killer. It just, yeah. I mean, it's easy for people to get it tucked up in the front. I yeah. see that all the time, but yeah. I don't see it that tucked in the back. It I know. It's good. I mean, shout out to Tom, War Admiral. I mean, he helped me out a lot, but. Yeah. Well, yeah, well, you have to get the wheels. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, I yeah, know, yeah, yeah. I know what you mean, though. But he no, helped Tom me out with help. the ride height and everything, yeah. you know, getting it right. So yeah. I think you got it dialed in. What do you guys think? How's the, how's the uh, stance on it? Perfect. Yeah. <laughs> See, it's not just me. It's not just, it's me. Not just me saying this. <laughs> Fine job. Thank you. One thing we got to do, Dom. I think we got to fire it up, man. I think we got to do a little. We got to fire it up. Yeah. All right. Let's see what it sounds like. Get a little of those. I know what it sounds like. You guys are gonna like it. <laughs> Awesome. 
I forgot that part. He's got race bullets. So we are starting to lose the light, guys, but uh, I think we got it done in time. Dom, I think we got it done in time. Thank you, guys. We did good. Thank you for returning to the channel, thank sir. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Yeah. Oh, I love the channel. You do a great job. And uh, yeah, thank you for having me. Oh, man. That's, that's, I love to hear that. So <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you enjoyed Dom coming back. Uh, if you did, please hit the like button. If you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe. We'll see you here next time on Gearhead 704. I hope you guys just, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the bloopers because there's a lot of them today. There's a lot of bloopers. Yeah, I messed up a lot today. <laughs> Booper blooper. We're looking at another three sort for 374. What the heck's a 374? Oh man, uh, it's, it's not uh, a hedge pipe. A hedge. What's a right hedge now. pipe? Man, a lot of bloopers today, Dom. <laughs> hold on, they don't have to hold on. I hold on to editing. Matt and editing. Hold on, Matt and editing. <laughs> All right, this is gonna be fun. Did I, was I filming? I was recording all that time. <laughs> yes. Oh man, how does that look in my pants? I got no idea. Oh boy, uh, I, I family friendly channel. Never mind. I don't, forget I said that. <laughs>